2006, the Wallabies seemed intent on taking McCaw out at Eden Park. Phil War had a go. And then Lottie Tungiri, who got off very lightly after copping a meaningless 11-week ban that took him out of just one test. But it was 2010 when things escalated. Ireland's Jamie Heaslip red-carded for a knee to the head in New Plymouth. The feud with Quade Cooper was ignited in Hong Kong and escalated in 2010 in Brisbane. There was more to come on the Northern Tour. Dylan Hartley got off scot-free in the same game that Kevin Mialamu was banned for a similar offence. With perhaps the worst incident coming in the final game of that tour. Again, no sighting. Reunion found this vision after the sighting window had closed following the World Cup final. And it's continued into this year. Scott Higginbottom's four-week ban after all that seems fair. And how much longer can the All Black captain continue to regard such treatment as some kind of backhanded compliment? He's just an ordinary bloke from Kuria. But by God, he can do extraordinary things. He's a champion. Probably been our greatest All Black in modern time, if not ever. And we've had some great, great, great All Blacks. So, Rich, if you can come forward. the very first team to win back-to-back -back Rugby World Cups. Is this your proudest moment? Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, we, we said four years ago, when we, uh, after the last one, that uh, you know, we'll get on the road again, and uh, with this being the end goal, we've playing here at Twickenham in a World Cup final, we'll try and do something no one else has done. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud of the way the guys uh, have done that today. You know, we played Damn good rugby there. We lost a bit of momentum in the second half, but we kept our composure and you know we came home strong, which has uh, been a hallmark of this team for the last four years. Richie, you said the first time that you became an All Black, you didn't want it to end. After 148 tests and two Rugby World Cups, do you now call it a day? I still don't want it to end, to be honest. Um, look at the moment. I'm still part of this team. I'm going to enjoy today and. You know, how could you get enough of this? So, uh, we'll worry about that after today. I just want to enjoy uh, playing, or having played a wonderful World Cup final here with a great bunch of men, and uh, I'm just so proud of being able to wear this jersey again today, and uh, I don't think you ever have enough of it. And uh, if you get moments like this, why would you ever uh, call it a day?